What's going on my broskies, my name is Totski back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and today, we're here to go ahead and use a character that I honestly haven't used in a pretty long time, and it used to be one of my favourite units in the game, not really so much these days, and that character, obviously you guys can see, is going to be V2 Katakuri, so in today's video, we're going to be using him as a captain, and we're going to be going ahead and challenging the 10 star difficulty GARP challenges, so Whitebeard, Anel, and also the Navy Challenge, uh, and all of the teams you guys are going to see in this video are all using double Katakuri captains, and there's not going to be like the same team versus all three, a little bit tricky for him to do that, but we're going to see how he performs in this event, and see what types of units we're going to be using as well. So before we get into that, I want to quickly break him down for you guys, just so you guys get a little bit of a refresher as to what he actually does. So this character, obviously, he is a Psy Fighter powerhouse, um, his captain effect will boost fighter slasher shooter driven and powerhouse characters by 1.825 uh, and the way that it works is is if a character has both of those classes or has two of those five classes it gets multiplied together to be a 3.33 times boost and then it also gives those characters a 1.4 times color affinity boost and then makes strength side recovery tandem beneficial to your team and then has a really nice added effect that heals 50 percent of the damage that you received when you moved into the next stage so if you take 1000 damage if this guy's your captain and you move into the new stage you heal 500 hp and if you're running double katakuri it means that you heal back all the damage that you took in the previous stage it's a pretty interesting uh style captain effect and definitely in today's day and age it's uh, it's a little lacking in the damage department as you guys will see in this video but we find ways around that um speaking of his special though 15 turn max cooldown will go ahead and deal 30 times the amount of accumulated damage received before you launch the special and it caps at around 200,000 damage so you need to take 200,000 damage to get the max cap of 6 million damage dealt when you launch the special but then there's an added effect that says that it adds 15 times the amount of accumulated damage received before you launch the special as tap timing bonus damage and with uh, with that the way that it's calculated is you can get a max potential of 3 million damage per tap six characters on your crew gives you 18 million damage so this guy is kind of cool right with his special alone you can get some pretty serious damage output the only problem is it takes a really long time to accumulate that 200,000 damage taken and in a lot of cases you probably don't need that much um but yeah it's a really really interesting unit and you know it's katakuri it's one of my favorite characters in one piece in general probably actually it is my favorite character in one piece honestly but um it's a really interesting unit that isn't like the best unit these days but i really wanted to try and use him in some content he does eventually get some uh, limit break expansion a little later on down the line where he gets minus three cooldown so he goes down to a 12 turn cooldown and his captain effect actually will increase in power but that increase in power that he gets is nothing too game breaking so it doesn't really change anything he's still a relatively mediocre unit in today's standards um, i really cannot wait to see if they give him a six plus because i think that if they gave him a six plus and changed the right things then he could potentially be a really really powerful unit that you could use in a lot of content but we'll have to wait and see what happens but without further ado guys let's go ahead and get into the content so jumping on into the first clip is against the Whitebeard Challenge, of course. We're going to go in order, and you'll notice a theming, well, not really a theming, but kind of like a trend within uh, all these teams is that we actually use a character or characters, um, depending on the team, of course, um, that are not fully boosted under Katakuri's Captain Effect. Katakuri's Captain Effect is actually quite restrictive, right? You can use, like, what is it, Fighter, Slasher, Shooter, Powerhouse, and Driven. So each of your characters, in order to get that full boost of Katakuri's Captain Effect, have to have two of those five classes, which is a little tricky to do in a lot of cases, especially when you're trying to get around some of these 10-star difficulty GARP challenge effects. So, like, looking at this one here against the Whitebeard challenge, obviously the big key things are having to do with attack down, paralysis, chain debuffs, and also the Jozu stage, which has the increased defense and the percent damage reduction. So, obviously, Queen is a perfect unit for that. He gets rid of both of the defensive, defensive effects of Jozu, as well as giving us a chain lock, and he's both powerhouse and driven, so he's a perfect unit to run for this team. And then 
then we also have to deal with right the, the attack down the paralysis the chain debuff the chain debuff is not a problem though because we are bringing katakuri we can have the support of legend cracker so that's not a problem at all but then we've got Chiffon. Now, Chiffon's great. I did actually Limit Break expand Chiffon specifically for this video. With her expansion, she does get an additional two turns of cooldown, which is great. Um, so she maxes at a 14-turn cooldown. And we have Nami on this team. Now, Nami is here just because she has cooldown reduction. She does give us affinity as well, which is just nice. If we're against an in character, we get a nice bit of damage against them. But the fact that we have her effect with double special activation we can get cooldown reduction with her which is really really nice and we use her in very key circumstances and different stages here as you guys will see because uh, Chiffon's cooldown is just a little too high for my liking and having to get that special ready for the Marco and Jozu stage is very important because if you don't, you, you're not going to have the ability to remove the attack down the paralysis. And, you know, it's nice because Chiffon does give us a bit of healing capabilities as well. Uh, if you're ever in trouble, it's really, really nice to have. Now, the other character on this team is Gemma Double Six. Now, actually looking back at it, I actually kind of realized that Gemma Double Six is on all three of these teams. He's so, so good for V2 Katakuri because you have that really, really amazing captain effect that obviously when they switch into that captain spot, they're super effective against all types. So if you are in a little bit of a pickle and you need to make sure you're doing enough damage possible, you have German Double Six to do that. And the really good thing, right, is when they become the captain in the middle of an adventure, they're super effective against all types. Um, with Katakuri's captain effect, he gives color affinity to all of those characters that he boosts on his team, right? So because German are super effective, they're always going to get the buffed captain effect of V2 Katakuri, which is so, so good. Um, though there is a couple of downsides to Germa in the fact that you only get the five times boost if you have a Psy or a tandem slot. Luckily, when you use their special, they give you the tandem slots, but in another team a little bit later, you'll see that, that uh, that's not quite possible to get. But even though, despite not having the right slots, Germa still as the captain is really, really nice to have, that's for sure. Plus, that super tight special is ridiculously good. And in this team, luckily, you know, we have that Nami, so we can actually proc that super type to give us a, you know, all block. We get the chain boost effect even though the chain boosting effect in that circumstance didn't really matter because we had Queen's chain lock doesn't really matter at the end of the day and luckily on the final stage here we don't have to deal with the enemy removing our accumulated values which obviously hurts Katakuri a lot because by removing the accumulated values it means that all of the stored damage that we have for Katakuri special is all gone so that's quite a big uh, quite a big devastating effect and unfortunately against the Eneru fight and against the Navy fight that is going to be happening. So the, the thing about that means that we, we can just use Katakuri a little earlier on in the fight, which actually isn't always a bad thing. It does make some of the stages a lot easier. So that's the wrap up for the Wipeid challenge and we'll pick things up once we get to the Eneru challenge. So now we get to talk about the versus Eneru challenge. Now, I gotta say guys, one of the other characters that works exceptionally well with V2 Katakuri, despite not being boosted under any circumstance, is V2 Shirahoshi and Mancherry. Um, they've got an amazing kit on them that with their switch effect giving you overhealing and we all know whenever you take damage with Katakuri, you're gonna get a lot of healing back at the end of the turn because remember auto healing will give you a lot of health back already. So in a lot of circumstances when you use V2 Katakuri as a captain, you're going to have overhealing in some capacity, and the really great thing about Shirahoshi and Mancherry is they have that really powerful switch effect that can give your team overhealing. So you can have Katakuri with all of his amazing abilities that he has, and it essentially just doubles your health. It's it's ridiculously good to have the capabilities of having Shirahoshi and Mancherry with all of their healing uh, abilities, plus their utility special, plus rainbow slots, plus a chain boosting effect. There's just so many things about Shirahoshi and Mancherry that make them so good for V2 Katakuri. But look, you know, Shirahoshi and Mancherry, they're not only good for Katakuri, they're good for a lot of units in the game. And this is just further showing why I really valued this unit a lot more than Vivi and Rebecca. Not saying Vivi and Rebecca is a bad unit, because they're definitely not. 
But in my opinion, I think that V2 Shirohoshi and Mancherry over over time will be a little bit more of a valuable unit compared to V2, uh, Vivi and Rebecca. But then again, you know, it just depends on the situation. And I've talked about it extensively in previous videos, but the fact that V2, Vivi and Rebecca are so centered around only Striker and Cerebral teams, whereas with Shirohoshi and Mancherry, well, yeah, their captain effect is Striker and Cerebral centric, but their special ability doesn't have any restrictions on what team it can be used on, which is great. So in this circumstance here, even though, you know, Shirohoshi and Mancherry is not even being boosted at all by any means, by V2 Katakuri's captain effect, uh, we still get all of the amazing effects of Shirohoshi and Mancherry, which definitely makes this fight so, so much easier. Uh, talking about the other characters though, we have uh, the treasure map Sanji and Nami character because they've got an amazing special that gets rid of stun, gets rid of special bind, they have fear resistance, it's just like the perfect unit for this particular fight, so if you're building a dex or a side team for the NL challenge, uh, you know, the, the Nami Sanji unit's going to be very helpful, also because their special boosts the slot effects of fighter and free spirit characters. So in this circumstance here, Nami Sanji of course, Stampede Luffy, and also Katakuri all get the orb boosting effect from uh, Nami Sanji, which is great. Uh, Stampede Luffy is also another new unit you're seeing here, which is pretty dope. Uh, Stampede Luffy is a really, really valuable asset to this team. Um, just, you know, grants you a lot of damage just with his special alone, and uh, it's going to be quite nice to have uh, on the final boss stage, because without it, we definitely wouldn't have enough damage to actually take down NL, so having that is, is quite valuable. Um, but that's basically it, right? Like, we just use V2 Katakuri special prior to the boss stages, because we, uh, we, we get given the remove accumulated values, which just negates the usefulness of Katakuri special. And another reason why Katakuri is actually relatively decent for these 10-star difficulty GARP challenges is the fact that normal attacks only just isn't here at all. I mean, there's only one stage with it, and that was the Marco Vista stage of the Whitebeard challenge, and that's not really a tricky stage either way, especially when you're building a full side team taking down the, uh, you know, Vista very, very quickly, and Marco doesn't really have too much health, right? Um, but yeah, normal attacks only obviously hinders him, and then removing accumulated values obviously is another debuff that can really hurt you, and those are the same reasons why V2 Doflamingo gets hurt so much, because those two things in particular are relatively common these days in content. So unfortunately, you know, these characters do get hurt a lot by uh, those more common debuffs. So I'm really hoping that, you know, if this guy ever gets a 6 plus in the future, that they give him something outside of what he already does. You know, maybe you could buff the numbers on what he already does, make it, uh, make it so that you don't have to take as much damage to get more damage with his special ability. Kind of like what they did with 6 plus NL, where he was based on overhealing, but when he got his 6 plus, the amount that you actually had to overheal was less, but the values were kind of the same. So they could potentially do that as well with Katakuri, so maybe take less damage, but the damage maybe doesn't scale. That could also work very well. But then potentially give him something else, like maybe like if he is a sub or or as a captain or something like that, just give him some other effect, like maybe a huge color affinity boost, like a 2.5 color affinity to the classes that he boosts as the captain, like that would be really, really interesting to see them do, or potentially like he has an orb uh, changing effect, something like that, maybe like changes or shuffles all slots to strength, side, recovery, tandem, kind of like what his captain effect does, not really too sure what they could really do to kind of curry, to, to give him a, a really decent 6+, plus. but all I know is, is that he definitely deserves a 6+, plus either way, right? So uh, that's the end for the the uh, NL challenge, very, very awesome to see this guy get this job done, and we'll pick things up in the final challenge versus the Navy. So now we can go ahead and talk about the final challenge of the video versus the Navy challenge, and uh, it's a pretty similar team from what you guys just saw. So the only difference was is instead of Nami Sanji, which was very useful for the NL challenge, getting rid of stun, getting rid of special bind, is we've replaced that with Hold'em, who has a special that can get rid of damage threshold, um, and it's going to be nice because we need to use it multiple times uh, in this run here. But the rest of the units are the exact same. Uh, some of the supports have actually changed a little bit, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think some of the supports 
may have changed slightly, but uh, this is quite a useful team actually for getting through this content. But one thing about this particular event that the uh, that other teams that I've used for, for this event haven't done is the amount of excessive stalling. Um, we'll get to it in a little bit, but once we get to the Smoker and Hina stage, we actually do quite a bit of stalling on that stage um, because we can actually get to a situation where we can pretty much stall infinitely, uh, which is pretty dope um, because of Shirahoshi and Mansherry and their healing mechanics. And uh, you know, every time you switch, not only do you get access to overheal, but they already give you 1500 heal per turn. You get an additional thousand from auto healing, of course. And because of the amount of damage that the enemy actually does to you, by the time you're going to die, you'll have Shirahoshi and Mansherry special up again. You can use their special to get huge overheal healing to your team. And by the time you're nearly dead, you can use the special again. So, you know, you could essentially get infinite stall on the uh, Hina, Smoker, and Tashigi stage. But that gives us a great opportunity to stock up on the V2 Katakuri damage with his special. Because remember, as I mentioned a little earlier, that the Navy Challenge does also have the removing of your accumulated values. So the Katakuri specials are essentially useless on the final boss stage so we have to use them prior to that final boss stage so we're going to be using one on the smoker into shigi stage we use it again on the kizaru stage and we use it again on the fujitora stage so we use it three times during this fight which is why we have to stall a little bit and then uh, once we get through that we just use the rest of our specials on the final boss stage we have shirahoshi and mancherry to get rid of the burn gives us a full board of slots we've got germa to give us an orb boost plus their super tight special which is great and then on the revive we have Holden to get rid of the threshold and as well as giving us a 2.5 times chain lock and then we can have Stampede Luffy finish the job so uh, it's a pretty impressive team as uh, it's not the fastest team it's not the most optimal team but hey V2 Katakuri clears the Navy Garb challenge which is pretty awesome to see so I'm really enjoying using a little bit of different units for these Garb challenges and not really focusing in on building one team that dedicated the beats them all but you know just using obscure units that you wouldn't often use as captains to clear this content is just really really fun and really makes you think outside the box now obviously there are a couple things that to note you know we have the Shirahoshi and Manchuri which helps us just get rid of the hunger completely on the Kobe and Helmepo stage and you you know, definitely without Shirahoshi and Mansherry, this fight is a lot more difficult and I would arguably say impossible in this specific team structure. If you don't have Shirahoshi and Mansherry, you'd have to change up the team significantly in order to get it to work. But Shirahoshi and Mansherry really make this fight just a cakewalk, I would say. It's ridiculously easy, as you guys will see uh, once all the stalling is complete, which is cut out. You can see the, the damage that will get healed goes from 38,000 all the way to 150,000. So we do take a lot of time to stall to get all of our specials back. We've used the Shirohoshi and Manchuri special once, get the special back. And at this point here, we've got more than enough damage that we'll, that we'll need basically to get through the rest of the content. So it's not going to be a problem from here. But anyways, that is going to wrap up this video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.